the BBI constitutional amendment was not a popular initiative. The constitution can only be amended either through a parliamentary initiative or through a popular initiative. It has come out very, very clearly as we wait for the, the Court of Appeal judgment that the five bench judge of the High Court presided over by Judge Jordan Gugi on the basic structure of the Constitution on the clauses that are unamendable as to whether the powers of delimiting constituencies lies with the IBC. All those questions have been answered uh, before the Court of Appeal. But I want to make it very, very clear now that the 70 extra proposed constituencies in the BBI amendment bill are not visible. They are, they are not visible going forward. They cannot be implemented. They will not see the light of the day. And this is the reason. Article 89, sub-article 3 of the Constitution is very clear and has expressively stated in Article 89.3 that IEBC, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, has the powers to do the delimitation of boundaries, of constituencies, rather. And they can do this between the intervals of eight years and 12 years. But more important, the IBC shall do that function early enough, early enough before the general election. And uh, they cannot carry their mandate of delimitation of boundaries and creation of cons extra constituencies or wards one year to the general election. Where, what is one year to the general election? The next general election is on 9th of August 2022. So one year to the next general election is 9th of August 2021. The judges at the, at, the, at, the, at the Court of Appeal have stated clearly that they will give their verdict on the 20th of August. 11 days after that timeline in the delimitation of constituencies has been passed. So those uh, um, is a happy day for me. The 70 constituencies were not delimited in the BBI draft bill in accordance with Article 10 of the Constitution on the values and principles of governance. The 70 constituencies proposed in the BBI bill were not were not done in accordance with Article 118 of the Constitution on public participation. Kenyans were not consulted. A certain section of the political class decided to share 70 constituencies in their wildest dream 
they left out North Hor, which is 38,000 square kilometer, in their wildest dream. And in, the, in a discriminatory manner, they left Ijara, they left Wajir South, they left a certain section of the Luo Nyanza, they left certain constituencies in Western and in Mount Kenya. For example, Kenya constituency. They left some constituencies in the coastal region. So God has uh, uh, answered the prayers of many Kenyans that never again will the political class, a certain section of the political elite, will sit somewhere in a boardroom and dish out constituencies contrary to the provision of the constitution. So, as they wait for the verdict of the Court of Appeal, I can tell them without any fear of contradiction, they should forget the 70 constituencies by reading Article 89, sub Article 3 of the Constitution. And Chepokate must come out very, very clearly. I even said he's not prepared. But now we cannot delimit constituencies, either increase or decrease. Even those which are protected, he cannot touch them. He has less than a month, and there is no bill before him. And the bill before him is the one which has been found unconstitutional, null and void by the High Court. And the Court of Appeal is going to give uh, the verdict 20th of August. That is my position.